introduction to your unit two finance for business. So uh, this unit is an exam based unit. Um, so it's very important that you um, take in the information each week. Uh, some of this is going to be uh, purely factual. Other parts are going to be calculations that you need to take in. And finally, uh, other parts are uh, places where you have to suggest uh, perhaps improvements or why things are very important. The course is broken into three parts. Um, part A is talking about the costs of starting a business and running a business. So we look at startup costs versus the costs that we have day to day, the operating costs. The uh, fixed costs, those are the costs that don't change as output changes. And variable costs, that means the costs that change the more that you make and how you calculate those costs. And the, the second part of A is that you're looking at profit. Um, you're looking at how money comes in, uh, what things go out, the costs, and then calculating the profit from that, and the definition of profit and loss. Those are mostly um, definitions and facts that you need to learn. Then in part B, we have tools for running a business. So a break-even chart, how do you know how many products you have to sell before you break even or start making money? And then other tools include budgeting, so planning for your spending, and cash flow forecasting. When do you think the actual money is going to come in? To make sure that you always have money in before you have to pay money out. And the third part is, um, looking more at the uh, financial statements. So we're looking more at profits and how that technically is calculated. And then two documents you've probably heard of before, the profit and loss account, which we call an income statement as well. That says um, how much money came in and where all the costs came out, finally working out the true profit. And the balance sheet, that means everything that the company owns and everything it owes to other people. Um, and those are two really important documents. They're not difficult, but you need to understand them and recognize where you're finding on them. And finally, we talk about what are called margins and ratios. They're calculations, they're not too difficult, but they really help you when you want to compare two companies. You might get asked a question, which is the best company in a certain situation? Uh, or when you want to say whether a company has got better or worse over time. So those are the three parts, just so that you have an understanding of the shape of what we're learning. And your um, course, as I say, it will be exam based. And we plan to have your exam, your final exam, in the end of January, probably, with a mock uh, in December. Uh, there will be an opportunity for retake, but remember, if you pass this well in the first taking of it, you don't have to be taking this um, subject, which means you have more time to do your other subjects after that. So it is well worth really getting to grips with. It's in your control.